is here. Austin, Texas, the prince of Pan-Africanism is here. I speak tonight, 7 p.m. Givens Recreational Center, G-I-V-E-N-S, G as in Garvey, I-V-E-N-S, Givens Recreational Center, 3811 12th Street. Free, free up. Conscious, pull up. Hoteppers, pull up. Integration is pull up. Austin, Texas. I've been here three times. This is the third visit. But it's the first time I get to speak to the people. My third visit. But the first time. I'm tonight. Black parent advocate. $50 credit card, cash, or cash app. $50 credit card, cash, or cash app. Even if you can't get the book, come out and get the message. Come out and get the lessons. All black activists need to hear tonight's message. All in Houston two weeks ago. Some Houston Africans didn't know I was in Houston two weeks ago. Some Houston Africans didn't know I was in Houston. So let's see how far away Houston is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Houston, Texas is two hours and 44 minutes, seven o'clock. Let me see how far Dallas, I heard of some Dallas Africans who didn't know that I was at Aldi's Caribbean restaurant two Sundays ago. There's some Dallas Africans who didn't know I was at Aldi's Afribian restaurant two Sundays ago. Let's see how far away Dallas is. Dallas to Austin. Dallas to Austin, three hours and 10 minutes. If you leave right now at 3.50 p.m., you will be here at seven o'clock on the dot. Houston, pull up. Dallas, pull up. Where my San Antonio Africans? Where my San Antonio Africans? San Antonio. See how far away San Antonio Africans. One hour and 28 minutes. So San Antonio Africans, you don't have no excuse. From the Givens Recreational Center at 3811 East 12th Street, where the Prince of Pan-Africanism will be addressing the black community of Austin, Texas for the first time ever. For the first time ever. 3811 East 12th Street, Givens Recreational Center. I love black pink. Let me say this to you, Miss White Lady. Let me say this to Miss White Lady. I have nothing against white people. I have nothing against you. Nothing at all. I have nothing against the Neanderthal species. Let me be clear. I am against the way you all treat African people. I'm not against you. I do not teach or practice hate. I am against the way that the Neanderthal species has historically treated the original man and woman. See, this is the same conversation we run into when people bring up that rainbow gang. I am not against any member of the rainbow nation. I am against the promotion and propagation of said lifestyle to black children. Because it is a threat to the survival of the black family. Don't confuse my disagreement with your behavior. My disagreement with your behavior is not the same as somebody disagreeing with your existence. Well, it's not the same as somebody disagreeing with your human being. I don't disagree with the European human being or the Rainbow Gang human being. I disagree with your behavior, which is antithetical to the best interests of African people. I need you to understand, overstand, and understand, Madam Snow Bunny. I want you to understand, overstand, and understand. We can have a conversation. We can talk. We can debate. We can discuss. 
discuss. I've had plenty of intelligent conversations with members of the Caucasoid nation. We can't get married. We can't reproduce. Because there's one less brother available for black women. Do you understand me? That's why I don't want black men dating black men. That's one less black man for the black woman. We're trying to save a race. And you can't save a race without saving the family. Do you understand, understand, and overstand, Madam Snow Bunny? Now, here's what I wanted to talk about. Austin, Texas. I am here. Pull up if you need the flyer for tonight's lecture. If you need the flyer for the Dr. Papa Austin debut, you can text myself at 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. Now, what I want to do for the next 10 minutes is I want to talk about why so many Africans are not living their best life. Because we are dealing with a crisis. A crisis of mediocrity in the African community globally. I am a pan-Africanist. Globally, we're dealing with an epidemic of mediocrity and underachievement for African people. Peace and love, family. Peace and love is the prince of pan-Africanism. So I'm about to eat some of this Austin barbecue. It better taste good. You feel me? Because I knew I, the only red meat I eat on occasion is the Philly cheesesteak. The only red meat I eat on occasion is the Philly cheesesteak. But I'm going to try this Austin bris, bris, briquette. You feel me? Beef barbecue. We're going to see what it tastes like. So Austin, I'm here. It's going down tonight. 7 o'clock instead of 6 o'clock. So we're going to start an hour later. Come through. My first time speaking to the community in Austin. I've been here twice before, but neither one of them. This brisket, then I'm going to go lay down and relax at the hotel, and then I'm going to get ready to go out there and drop the Garvey grenade. Central Texas, I'm here. San Antonio, pull up. The Longview, pull up. The Prince is here. One love.